are some of the most unprecedented and informative images of the sun ever taken. They're made possible by these two machines, NASA's Parker Solar Probe and the European Space Agency's Solar Orbiter. Lift off. Parker was sent up by NASA in August of 2018, with Solar Orbiter following it in February 2020. Parker plans to make 24 passes around the sun before its mission ends in 2025. Solar Orbiter will be making close approaches to the sun every six months through at least 2030. They've been sent to investigate major questions about the star at the center of our solar system. What drives its 11-year magnetic cycle? What heats its corona? Where do solar winds come from? Answers to these questions could give us a better understanding of how the sun affects space weather and to better protect satellites that we rely on for everyday activities here on Earth. So why are there two separate probes launched by two different space agencies to observe the same sun? It's because they have complementary capabilities and viewpoints of the sun that help broaden the information they collect. For example, cameras can't survive looking directly at the sun from as close as Parker will be. So the solar orbiter will capture images of the sun and collect context information from what Parker observes. Solar Orbiter plans on getting as close as 26 million miles from the Sun. That's under a third of the Earth's average distance from the Sun. Parker will get seven times closer than the record holder for a solar pass, flying into the Sun's corona within 3.8 million miles of its surface. If the Sun can make you too hot here on Earth, imagine being that close to it. Parker has been specifically designed to withstand temperatures approaching 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. To protect itself, Parker has been fitted with a 4.5-inch thick carbon composite shield. Solar Orbiter, traveling farther away, only has to withstand temperatures over 930 degrees Fahrenheit. But it's fitted with cameras which need to look at the sun. So Solar Orbiter's heat shield actually has holes drilled into it to allow light in for observation. Parker's orbit takes it through the sun's corona to sample where corona plasma detaches to become solar wind. Parker carries with it four instruments to study magnetic fields, plasma, and energetic particles, and to image the solar wind and how it accelerates. Solar Orbiter isn't flying in a fixed orbit, but it's in resonance with Venus. Using the planet's gravitational pull every few passes to attempt to gradually shift its orbit to about 33 degrees above the solar equator delivering never-before-seen views of the sun's polar regions. And why are these probes doing this now? Because the sun is heading towards what's known as solar maximum, which is the peak of solar activity every 11 years. The next peak is predicted to occur in July 2025. So this is their best opportunity to learn as much about the sun and how it relates to us here on Earth until 2036.